I'm Steve Kinney, Director of Training for Smart Vision Lights. Today we're going to show just how easy it is to connect and trigger Smart Vision Lights products directly from your camera. One of the many advantages of the built-in controller found in all Smart Vision Lights products is that users simply need to connect power, ground, and a trigger source and the light will do everything automatically. Our lights accept either PNP or NPN trigger sources, and that makes it easy to be triggered from almost any source out there. Many smart cameras, such as our Cognix Insight 7802, have an auxiliary power port that already has the power and trigger signals for the light or other auxiliary devices. In these cases, Smart Vision Lights makes camera to light cables to make the direct connection between the camera and the light. These cables have any wiring configurations and any required bias resistors already in the cable to make it easy for the user. You simply need to connect the light, the cable to the light's auxiliary power port, connect the other end to the light itself, and as I do this, you can see that the light begins to flash in sync with the frame rate we set up for this camera and in time to catch the proper exposure. For cameras without auxiliary port, you can use a simple breakout cable of flying leads and discreetly make the power ground and trigger connections. If within your camera, the trigger source is what they call exposure enable, often called EEN, then this signal is high anytime the camera is exposing. Changes to the camera's exposure will change the length of that pulse and consequently will change the length of the pulse coming from our lights and automatically synchronize itself with the camera so that user exposure changes are invisible and just happen with the light. With smart vision lights, it's that simple. Simply just connect the camera to the light and you're ready to go.